And they say the gators can go 30 miles an hour, right? Hey, how you doing, Duff here? It's Friday and I'm making a video. Just hanging out, you know, I didn't feel like working today, so I uh, did that and, oh yeah, by the way, Mickey's here, again. Mickey from EVX fame, very famous EUC uh, YouTuber. And we're just gonna be, we're kind of riding around my home turf today. We're gonna be exploring some of the back streets. We are currently at the school where I learned the basics of EUC riding. And we're just gonna kind of do our thing. Mickey's gonna be uh, Mickey's gonna be filming his own video, that uh, another one of his series, helping out new riders. And uh, I'll be his prop. Should be cool. Yeah, so I'm hoping uh, we get to talk some more about uh, V11 versus S18 during this ride. We'll see. Should be fun. We're rolling out. All right, so Mickey is on my. 18XL with the 2200 watt motor. He's never been on um, been on the 2200 watt version of that wheel, so he's going to ride that while I am on the MSX once again. I haven't really taken the MSX into like off-road situations much, so we'll see how it does. I just saw a bra in the bike lane. Oh wow, there's another one. Two bras in the bike lane. Sounds like someone was having a party. What the hell? But the ones that are like, like modern impressionistic painting and barely move, those freak me out. Those are oh. all creepy. Yeah. I just think they... All right, just did a little pit stop at home. Take a pee break. Mickey got to meet uh, Cindy, which is cool. Now we cross the Mockley Road and we're heading towards the swamp, which although I have heard is closed officially, so we're just gonna go check that out for ourselves to verify it. And there goes Mickey, doing the Mickey thing. He's teaching me a thing or two about uh, what's involved with uh, making some real uh, movie stuff. It's kind of interesting. Clearing some land, man. Clearing some land. All right, we switched up wheels. I am now on the 18XL. Mickey's on the uh, MSX because we figured He'll get more use out of the uh, top end of that thing than I will, so why not? We're on the limestone road approaching the swamp. It's supposed to be closed. We just want to see exactly how they have it closed. I'm just curious. Mickey, this would be a great t place to taste uh, to test suspension. <laughs> well, I was going to say, I just fell in that hole back there as you were talking. Yeah, the, these ridges, man. The MSX held up well. Yeah, good. <laughs> Yeah, there's all these little uh, gullies in the road here. This would be. Yeah, I'm gonna a... need to scout my parents' house for when I get the V11. Yeah, yeah, it's there's true. Something interesting. I know in the East Trail they do have some cool like mountain bike trails and stuff. Yeah, my parents are like, I'm sure everything's closed. You can't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm gonna risk it. Yeah, there you go. Only income right now. All right, we are venturing into the swamp because we're crazy. This is so much more intriguing than Marty's Mountain. Yeah, I kind of think so. We just came in here and just scared a gator into the pond. Scared me too. <laughs> scared me too. Uh, there's still a bit of a whine to the 18XL. Really, you hear a whine? Unless I'm hearing MSX, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I don't hear much. It doesn't bother me, though. I like the wine. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, compared to how it was before, it, it, it seemed noticeably quieter to me. But they've improved this path a ton. I mean, this used to be just like a little, like a bike width trail of, of uh, bare, bare dirt. <laughs> So did they but, carve it out? Yeah, well, it looks like they brought some fill in and then just uh, compacted it. I mean, there's times I've been back here and the grass was, you know, three feet high. 
Nice, nice. Whoa! Whoa! Shit! Did you catch that almost fast fail? Yeah. <laughs> this guy's just chilling. That's what they always do. Mm-hmm. I should just, you just re uh, turn it on, on and off, and it fixes it. how well you can see that we got two baby gators kind of resting on each other down there yeah to zoom oh yeah oh yeah there's that or that's a mother over there yeah, big wow big gator over there i was just saying to mickey when it comes to testing uh, these new suspension wheels i don't know that you're going to get a much better spot to do it than the swamp because uh, uh it is nothing but bumps varying size and degrees and locations so looking forward to it oh, I, did, I don't think I, I didn't mention on the film yet that I did put my deposit on the uh, v11 by the way oh, yeah. Did. Yeah. early access v11 we'll see we'll see we'll see if it shows up on time I'm just gonna ignore the s18 because of the, the battery the v11 battery is bad enough yeah yeah I agree but I do, I, do th I do think that smart BMS is pretty cool, right? There's another one. Yeah. Hi, buddy. I mean, he's pretty close. Hi. Yeah, he's he's up close and personal. What do you think? Five footer, six footer. It's like a projector at this point, but. Well, that the one guy that was in my uh, live chat, I, I think he might have been Russian. He said something about how it would allow you, if one pack fails, to actually run on the second one. Right, okay, so if that is true, it, that's a small step towards safety, but like, what if you ever been riding and your battery completely failed? Like it like died, never. Right. So it's like, okay, that's interesting, but I've never had that happen. Neither have I. What I said to Liam last night, or the middle of the night, was, hey, can you ask your engineers if your smart BMS actually means that, or does it mean if I push to cut out, instead of cutting out, it saves me from cutting out. Is there something like that happening? Mm -hmm. um, and if not, you should definitely put implement that on your next model. You know, yeah. Like, so that basically there's a, as we said, a backup battery in there that has enough juice to just crank you back down to zero, your power cycle, and then you're back on. Yeah. So he was going to get an answer for you? Yeah, so he's going to ask. He usually takes a few days. Oh boy. Holy shit, look in the look in the road. Oh boy. That's a big guy too. Wow. Hard to see so far from here. Sure is, but there's a big gator right across the road right now. That is like that is, and there's another one I think in the right in front of him. Six, seven footer. Look, two of them. You can't zoom in much farther. Wow. wow. The one in the foreground is definitely a lot smaller. I don't know, this might be a good turnaround point. <laughs> is there one in the water right there too? Or no? No, I think it's a, that's a log. That might be more than a six footer, dude. I don't know, that's, that is Ten pretty... Because his tail is curled up, it's not extended. Yeah, can't zoom in any further, unfortunately. Got ourselves a probably seven foot gator down here. Maybe I can zoom in and post, hang on. Stand by. Everybody, hold your horses, go to 4K. We got a, uh, let's see, 50, now we're back on track. We got ourselves a seven foot maybe gator, maybe maybe more. Can't go any further for fear of being eaten. Welcome to Florida. <laughs> but um, that's pretty crazy. Maybe I can zoom in and post here to get a good shot, let you guys see it. And yeah, we can get a little closer, I think. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty, it's a good size. Head's not huge. Big enough. No, it's just it's big enough. <laughs> big enough to put a hurting on you. Hey, bud. It's like a whole different ball game when they're on my turf. Mm-hmm. 
He's just letting us know it's a good time to turn around, right, buddy? Yep. That's weird, though, because usually when it's this hot, they, they won't be up like this. Usually they do that when they're cold, like when it's colder weather. When it's this warm, I'm surprised that he's up in the path. He might have been trying to cross over. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because they're, they're trying to move from uh, area of water to area of water, and since so many of them are dried up, <clears throat> they might be moving around a lot. I think uh, he probably sees us while he's not moving. Mm-hmm. He's like, come closer, I dare you. And they say the gators can go 30 miles an hour, right? I'm about to test the kinks. <laughs> yeah. Please decelerate. <laughs> no, I don't. As the gators snap it on you, please decelerate. Another reason why Gotway might be the secret safer of all the options. Oh, well, yeah, it's true. Despite In Motion and King Song's dedication to quote unquote safety. Gotway is the leader in the uh, gator friendly market. Yeah, you can run. Outrun a gator. We just shoot this right now and we'll make our uh, power pads out of their out of their hide. Oh, yeah, sure. That's a, Oh, yeah, that's what the Russians do, right? Yeah. They probably kill them with their bare hands. When I was in college, small gators, we would grab them by the tail and mess with them on the side of the road. Mm. But I'm not a young man anymore. Mm -mm. Well, when I, um, when I um, first moved here and first built the house, I didn't have a fence around the backyard and there was a like a three foot gator in our little small pond. And I actually caught it with my first basin mitt. I pinned it down and then I shoved it into a cat carrier Whoa. and uh, dropped it off of the swamp. That was a small guy. Yeah, no, it was two, three feet. If it, I guess two feet, yeah, he wouldn't fit in a cat carrier if he was three feet. I haven't changed much. I'm surprised this one in the foreground is still chilling too. I thought he might take off. Just ride by it, Duff. All right. It'll, it'll, uh... He'll move if I do, I'm pretty sure. And when I did my first ride, I rode by one that was, I had, not, I had more space than that. I might've had another three feet, but he was, he was parallel to the road. He wasn't perpendicular. And that tail. <clears throat> you just gonna stay there, bud? All right. I can't see if his tail is. It's, it's, it's coiled up. It's, yeah, I see a little coil now. Yep. Yeah. Well, we got closer. Yeah, no, we're good. So we're pretty deep. We should, we should probably double back to the picnic table. Yeah, let's do that. Run for your life. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right, we stopped. We, we reversed after our encounter with the uh, friendly gator. And we're just kind of hanging out at the picnic table. Take a breather. We're not doing the whole loop. We're not equipped for that. Didn't bring water, so. But Mickey's definitely getting a good taste of uh, what it's like back here, for sure. I don't know if you guys watched uh, Boardwalk Empire when that show was on. I did. I did. It's reminding me a little bit, in a good way, of when uh, Nucky went down to Florida to do business and he was living in the swamp. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I, for people. I forgot about that. I didn't grow up around the swamp. I grew up like near Miami, you know, so it was like, mm -hmm. Cuban food, good coffee. <laughs> Neon lights. Yep. This is a different kind of Florida. Yeah, this is extremely rural. But in like an interesting way. Mm -hmm. You know, not like rural like Oklahoma or something. Right. Like Sorry, western like there. western Texas. Yeah, it's like very as a kid I kinda lived near the Everglades a little bit. And they had like schools, specialized schools where you could like go and like you studied ecological blah blah blah. Oh really? That sounded so boring to me. <laughs> but as an adult, I'm like, this is interesting. It is kind of fascinating. There goes my camera. It's another warm one. April's when the heat starts cranking up down here. It's just a Florida humidity right now. Yeah, and humid, yeah. Ironically, everyone who lives in Florida is like, oh, the humidity is nasty. And then I moved to New York, and I've lived there for over a decade. Going green to red, and now it's all green. Should have a GPS lock, I guess. Yeah, my Scotty, I don't have to do any of that calibration stuff. Oh, those are cool. Oh yeah, we saw you guys out in the road. Oh, yeah. it's fun. Yeah, we decided we might. As well, we didn't know where you guys went. We thought. <laughs> so we went all the way down to the end, and then came back, and I said, "Well, why not? Let's do it." Oh yeah. Those are cool. Here. They're hard to ride. At first, but it takes time to learn. But yeah. it's it's fun. Yeah. We we went up a few hundred yards more. We we came across a gator that was right across the path. So we turned around. Did. I have an air horn. Probably about a seven or eight footer, yeah. Really? We had nothing on us. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Gal, we, there's a couple. I've gone around it, but he was blocking most of the road, so I didn't really yeah, want to push it. I'm sure if road. I blow this, he'll probably move. Uh, he, he, he probably, probably will. Right. Probably will. Or he might have moved already. Who knows? like seven feet or more. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. I've seen a big one. There's a big one with some babies. 
Uh, that was actually up this way more. Yeah. yeah, we saw a big one with like two or three babies. Have you done the whole circle? I, ha in the past. I have in the past. Not today. It's rough. Yeah. I I've done it on a mountain bike too. It's really rough on a mountain bike. Is it? Oh yeah. yeah my, it be, my tires keep sliding. It's the soft sand. It's just one of those things that I think probably once you're halfway, you're like, oh god. Yeah. Cause, exactly. Yeah. Cause, so that's well, really the beginning of it right there. It's yeah. it's a long. All the way back it's out. long. Yeah, it's long, and, and you, you come into some soft sand. You come into a lot of roots in the road. You're always going around the roots, so it's. Uh. It's, it's a workout. A, it's a workout. It's a workout on these. I mean, I can I, yeah. It, it's, What's one of those run? Uh, they they started like maybe eight hundred bucks up to like two thousand, a little really? more than two thousand. It depends what yeah. kind you get. Mm -hmm. Seems like they'd be hard to stay on it. Probably. Once you learn it, it's like a bicycle. It's just practice. Yeah, yeah. It is like very much like a bike. Flying. They they can go. They can go thirty miles an hour. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> I saw it at my. We seen you guys. All, said, we just seen you hell, dressed in black. There's a guy up there in black. <laughs> Let's get the knife out. <laughs> yeah, we're not too scary. No. Well. But but if we hear the air horn, New York, so it's my normal yeah, that's true. If Batman is on vacation. <laughs> yeah. It's like nobody else should be back here. Maybe somebody's camping. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen any campers. Well, we saw we saw people walking their dogs. I don't know if you passed yeah, them. We did pass yeah. them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they said they were in the yeah, black car. Yeah, that's why we got out this originally too. We were like, oh, they're flipping pit bulls or. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I, th I saw a lab and like a poodle, yeah, I think. A and golden doodle. Or... Yeah. <laughs> if, if, if we hear the air horn, we'll come back looking for you. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's like auto flying. <laughs> it's like so blown out. I need to like adjust. Oh, the whiteness. Where's the? Yeah, I think on PayPal you can just like say. All right, we're rolling again. Mickey put his drone up in the air. Got some cool aerial footage that I'll be mixing into his video. We are now on our way out of the swamp. And uh, I don't know, Mickey, are you, I mean, are you good with our off-road riding at this point? Yes. Because I was thinking we could go back to the truck and then go to the house and just like eat lunch and, you know, call it a day. Okay. That's good with you. Unless you want to do some road stuff, you tell me. I could get I could get some footage of you flying by in the MSX. That could be yeah, not here. Yeah, yeah. Out on the road though. Right here, right yeah. On your street. Yeah. What the hell is that? All right, we made it out of the swamp in one piece. We saw, uh, you yeah, know, even though the trails officially closed, we saw. Uh, Maybe uh, what, five people out there, half a dozen, something like that. So no worries, we were socially distant. Let's see how graceful I can look going underneath this thing. It's a long way down for me. Ride their bike like all the way to this one. Yeah. Well, I think they might live around here. Because oh. I think that's the people that were walking right here, the truck. That tree thing looks like a snake. Yeah. Yeah, they're like symbiotes of trees or of like cabbage palms. Oh, it's like I was saying on your live stream. Okay, we're in one of these. Mostly unused streets. Mickey's just going to do a couple high-speed runs in the MSX since that's a Mickey thing to do. And uh, I'll, I'll follow at a safe distance on my, my slow 18XL. Yep. We're back. We're back in the lot. Great ride. 
very excited that we actually got to do the swamp. I thought that was not going to happen, but it happened. So, you know, very exciting. Mickey will be on to uh, the East Coast this time tomorrow. What, you'll be on the road? I don't have my watch on. But. Yeah, uh, depends on when my parents get here. But uh, like noonish, one o'clock. Nice. And then I'll be spending the rest of my uh, pandemic life in a beautiful home in the East Coast of Florida. Yeah, awesome. And look for big news on Mickey's channel coming soon. Keep riding. Is this is the <laughs> sign off. Oh, yeah, this is a sign off. <laughs> That's all I have for now. So next time, Duffman out and whatever Mickey wants to say. Keep riding. Keep riding.